So we move into the final bout of the evening. Great Britain have won the match by a score of, well, they have, they've won the match, but Kazakhstan, if they can secure victory in this, will get themselves a point. So still everything to fight for in a matchup between the number one and two ranked heavyweights. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is certainly one to whet the appetite. We are in the heavyweight division at 91 kilos plus. Introducing to you firstly, representing Astana Alans Kazakhstan, Felipe Hregovic. So he almost has to duck to make his way through that entrance at the back of the York Hall. Six foot six inch Philip Hergovic, 20 years of age, the 2010 World Youth Champion from Baku in Azerbaijan. The Croatian boxer representing the Kazakhstan Astana Arland and the individual champion from World Series Boxing Season 2. Philip Hergovic, an experienced World Series boxing campaigner, up into the boxing ring. And ladies and gentlemen, entering the building, hailing from Putney, representing British Lionheart, here comes Joe Joyce. Another man of almost identical stature, Joe Joyce, six foot six, 27 years of age, undefeated in World Series boxing today, just like his opponent in the boxing ring. Three fights, three wins, and he is the second ranked World Series boxing heavyweight here in week eight of competition. That man, Philip Hergovic, is the number one ranked guy. He's also undefeated this year. Three fights, three wins. Ladies and gentlemen, not only is this five three-minute rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division at 91 kilograms, but it is also a contest between the number one and number two ranked boxers in the World Series of Boxing. Introducing to you firstly, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the gold colored shorts trimmed with black. His excellent WSB record stands this evening at 16 contests, 14 wins, only two defeats. He comes to the ring this evening as the 2012 national champion and also, incredibly, the 2012 World Series of Boxing individual champion. Hailing from Croatia, representing Astana Alans Kazakhstan, Filip Rigovic. And opposing him, boxing out of the red corner, wearing the red colour shorts trimmed with white. His excellent WSB record is three contests, three wins. He comes to the ring this evening as the current Great British Champion, hailing from Putney, London, representing British Lionhearts, Joe Joy. Referee Mr. Martin Tadic from Croatia with his final instructions. Five three minute rounds. So, just a final check of the gloves and ensuring that the mouthpiece is inserted between these ahead of this contest between two towering heavyweights. Almost a reluctant touch of gloves between the two boxers there. Boxers there. 91 kilograms plus. In the heavyweight division, the number one ranked Philip Hergovic, the number two ranked Joe Joyce. Somebody's O is about to go. What? So here we go then, the first of the scheduled five three-minute rounds. And as he has demonstrated throughout his World Series boxing career to date, Joe Joyce sprints out to ring center and has come out blazing, pistoning out a long left jab before getting tagged with a stiff shot from Hergovic immediately. Yeah, this is going to be... Um a tough contest for Joe Joyce, but where we know his strength is in his fitness. He'll be on the front foot, he'll be forcing the, the pace 
and the pressure onto Hergovic. Nurgovic straight away now he's trying to find quality shots because he won't have faced many super heavyweights like Joyce who throws so many punches. He sets an incredible tempo does Joe Joyce. And you see him just pumping out that jab here to start round one. And what has often happened in World Series boxing in this his fourth contest is that by round four the opponent has just been sickened by it. The work rate drops and then it becomes easy pickings for Joe Joyce in the fourth and fifth rounds. One stoppage in his three wins to date, Joe Joyce. Oh, that's a nice jab, that is, from Joyce. You can see the reddening of the face already of Hergovic, so he's getting through with those jabs. What Hergovic does very well here, Ronald, is a quality heavyweight, because he'll just lay back, and he just lays himself out of range with his head, so he lays back, relies on that movement just to stay out of range, but he keeps his feet in punching range, then he pivots over his front foot like he did oh, there. Oh. There you go, perfect example, right on cue. Long, strong right cross out of that orthodox stance from Hergovic. Triple left jab from Joe Joyce, though. Left hook and uppercut, right uppercut follow-up with just wide of the mark. And that's what he's got to do here, Ronald Joe Joyce. He may be doubling up the jab with the fast movement with the feet. Get a little bit closer. That's set. The first jab might miss. The second jab will connect if you move the feet in closer. Just approaching two minutes gone in the opening round. And as both of these guys have demonstrated in their World Series boxing contest today, it is being fought at a terrific tempo. Stiff left jab from Joyce continues to redden beneath the right eye of Philippe Hergovic. And he backs off to the blue corner on the far side of the ring, fighting well out of that corner, scoring with left and right, but Joyce continuing to come forward, pumping out that strong left jab. Yep, good work from Joyce. What he's got to do, he's got to switch the attack. When he gets him on the ropes there, that's when he should start targeting the body. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'll say that. Both he landed men exchanging shot. right hands. But again, just look how busy the jab is of Joe Joyce. Sometimes Hergovic trying to set himself, but he finds a left jab coming in his direction. Nice evasive movement demonstrated by Joyce. Hands rather low, but he just swayed effectively from the waist. Approaching the final oh, 10 seconds. Lovely. Stiff left jab again. Followed up the right hand success from Hergovic. What an all action heavyweight contest we are having here in World Series Boxing. The referee just warning Joyce to keep his punches up. But that was a terrific opening round. Fought at a really high tempo. Yeah, that was superb from Joe Joyce there because he is in against a quality opponent and that corner will be very pleased with him. And there you go, Joyce won the round and quite rightly so. His jab was superb on the front foot, busy. Hergovic must have thought, what's this in front of me? I don't normally box super heavyweights that throw this many shots. Great positive round for Joyce on the front foot. There's that right hand, just falls short with it, but backs him up into the corner. This is where he's got to switch to downstairs. But nevertheless, keeps coming forward, straight shots from Joyce, pushing his man back, good work rate. Catches his opponent there also. Great first round, just got to build on it now. Corners, 10 seconds. Second turn. Round two. So Joe Joyce just jogging on the spot in the corner as the bell sounds to begin round number two. But as that bell is still reverberating through the air, the sound, he marches straight back out to ring centre. But he's met head on by Philip Hergovic, who is letting his own left and right go. Yeah, and they say the best form of defence is attack, don't they? And that's what Hergovic is doing now. He's trying to push Joe Joyce on the back foot with the odd shot here and there, especially with the right hand. Joyce has just got to rem keep the tempo going with that jab. Double that jab up a little bit, get a little bit closer, then throw the right hand. But keep the punches straight and keep them going, son. Good left hand to the body from Hergovic. Right hand over the top. Hergovic put a little flurry of punches together really effectively there. But Joyce continuing to work behind that trusty left jab. Big right hand from Hergovic right between the rather low-held gloves of Joyce. Joyce now becoming just a little bit dishevelled. Hergovic's left hand success around the corner in the form of a hook. Right hand over the top once more from Hergovic. And Joyce just wants to get it back at range and establish that jab as he did there. Yeah, just a simple shot. He's got caught with the odd shot here. He's got to get that left hand back to the on-guard oh. position quicker because Hergovic is now targeting the right hand, isn't he? And he's relying on a slow jab. So Joyce has got to be a little bit quicker with that shot and double it up. 
right hand success once more as he's continuing to score really effectively of, over the rather lazily low held left hand of Joe Joyce right left hand to the body was effective from Hergovic good left hand scores from Hergovic left right from Hergovic and Joyce now under just a little bit of pressure he gets his boxing stance back beneath him but then catches another left right combination good round so far in this opening half for the Croatian representing Kazakhstan yeah he's responded very well here Hergovic this will be the first probably um, one of the first times this on this evening where oh. he's Sweeping left hook from Joe Joyce, immediate yep. retaliation from Hergovic. I was just about to say about his fitness, he's going to be tested here, Hergovic. Because Joyce is just going to keep coming. There again, good right hand from Joyce. Backing Hergovic up to the ropes. Hergovic gets himself out of that place of confinement and plants his feet, just looking to counter Joyce. The tempo remains incredibly high. Left right success for Hergovic once more. Hergovic dangling that left hand low, in tempting, inviting Joyce to throw a shot which he can counter Joyce can't afford to, that's that better he must keep punching Ronald when he slows it down that's suiting Hergovic he prefers a more leisurely pace so he can see Joyce coming forward Joyce has got to keep throwing shots a little bit more head movement we need from him also left right got through once more from Hergovic left hook was ringing and it caught Joyce Joyce though remaining positive he switched southpaw his feet have turned around Joe Joyce not sure they want to be doing that against such an elite, experienced boxer. Back to the orthodox stance as the bell sounds. But that was a really good response from Filip Hergovic, represent, the Croatian representing the Kazakhstan after the Royal Line. Yeah, Hergovic is round. Let's have a look. Yeah, he's got it by two of the judges, so I'd agree with that. Good response from Hergovic there. He fought fire with fire and started to push Joyce back, especially with the rock one-two combinations, the right hand especially. Held his ground a little bit here, Hergovic. Wasn't going to be pushed back like he was in that first round. Responded well. And Joyce just walked onto a few shots here. We need to see a little bit more head movement from Joyce. Got caught with too many shots there. Another right hand from Hergovic. And it was definitely his round. Well, we said that even though Kazakhstan have lost the match, they'll still be fighting for everything in this final heavyweight bout. Because if you lose a 3-2, then you will get a bonus point. Kazakhstan will leave this fixture with one point to add to the 21 they've accomplished, accumulated in their seven wins out of seven so far. If they lose 4-1, Great Britain will get their obligatory three points. Kazakhstan will come away with nothing. So everything to fight for during this heavyweight contest. And what a contest it's been to this point as we move into round number three. Both boxers trying to establish the jab here in round number four. Left hook from Hergovic was long and went around the back of the head of Joyce. Joyce, 27 years of age, but didn't start boxing until he was 23. An all-round athlete was a swimming and diving instructor before he joined the podium squad and he joined that podium squad a year ago January 2012 and he had success with straight left and right bringing a round of applause from the crowd good left jab from Joyce once more and another getting back to that most basic of punches and using it to terrific effect super work here from Joyce just basic accurate shots with the left hand Hergovic is actually concentrating on the right hand left up combination but while he's thinking about it he keeps getting caught with just a straight shot from from Joyce good timing good measurement of distance for, from Joyce behind that jab and he's winning this round up to now Joyce got to just got to keep it going and keep the punches straight The fans of the Kazakhstan, Astana Arlans who are in the house and it is a sizable contingent that have turned out here tonight trying to encourage Philippe Hergovic. Joe Joyce just taking the opportunity to shake out his arms as we have passed the halfway stage in round number three. Hergovic has had more success with the right hand. Joe Joyce with the long strong left jab. Good right hand once more from Hergovic. Just caused Joyce's knees to dip momentarily. Success with a follow-up right hand. Joyce has got to get back to the jab, which has been such a trusty weapon for him throughout this contest. Yeah, crucial part of the round now for Joyce. Just got to step on it a little bit here, and this will secure the round. He's allowed Ergovic to come back with a couple of shots. That's better work for him now, and he's got to double it up now and keep him on those ropes there. Inside the final minute here in round number three. 
Both of these boxers in terrific condition. Two modern day super sized heavyweights, six foot six. Both of them coming in with undefeated ledgers. Three wins, zero losses. Joe Joyce with a stop his loss as well. Left hook to the body and follow up oh. left hook to the head. Hugovic responds with a left hook of his own. Really hard fought contest between two quality heavyweights. What a right hand by Joyce. And another one. All of a sudden, Hugovic is looking discombobulated and disheveled as we approach a 10 second clapper in round number three. Yeah, bad signs there from Hugovic. Started with that standing on the ropes there and just inviting the pressure from Joyce. And he took advantage. This is Joyce's round. No question. Joyce boxing terrifically, the crowd almost saying ole as a winging right yeah, hand from Hergovic. Missed the target by so some distance, could from an effective sway back from the ropes from Joe Joyce. Terrific round from the Earlfield heavyweight in round number three. Yeah, good round for Joe Joyce. Two of the judges have gone with him against the one for Hergovic. And for the first time tonight, a Kazakhstan boxer is really feeling it and he's uh, looking a little bit tired here, Hergovic. Bad signs on the ropes, the way he stood on those ropes there. Joyce just kept coming forward, just kept the punches straight. Lovely boxing, this is where he was on the ropes, switching the attack, left up, body to head. And there's Hergovic, they're bad signs. It's bad body language here from Hergovic. And there's a right hand coming up, there it was there. Super shot from Joyce and another one. And he kept it going, ended the round well. His round, no question. Into round, round number four. four. Over three seasons of World Series boxing, oh. Hergovic has put together a 16-fight ledger compiled of 14 wins and just two defeats. But Joe Joyce, this relatively inexperienced elite international boxer, is really putting him to the test. Boxing incredibly well. He conceded round two to Joe Joyce, but came back terrifically in the third to add that to the first round that he took for two of the three judges seated ringside. Oh, good stuff Beautiful here from stuff Joyce. from Joyce, working away with that jab so effectively. And as Richie pointed out during the interval between rounds, the work rate of Hergovic is dropping. He is being sickened by that long, strong left jab of Joyce. Yeah, Hergovic is thinking, where has this fella come from? <laughs> yeah, that's why he's thinking he's never seen him before. You've got to remember, this is an experienced international opponent. Joyce has got in front of him, and Joyce is outboxing him, outworking him, he's beating him. Pinning him to the ropes and working away to head and body. Hergovic, increasing signs of desperation as those looking to finish it with one shot, spreading his legs wide, gripping the canvas with his toes and swinging away with a big right hand. His jab has lessened, his right cross isn't as sharp as it was during that round two that he won for two of the three judges. Seated ringside, and look at Joe Joyce continue to pour it on here in round number four. Just got to be a little bit more accurate with that right hand when he pins his man on the ropes there. Does Sickening left short? jab once more. Snaps the head back of Hergovic. Yeah, positive boxing this from Joyce. Just got to watch that over, overhand right again. Hergovic is getting desperate. He's starting to throw shots now, wildly hoping to land. Joyce has just got to keep his boxing together, keep nice and neat and tidy. Good left jab from Joyce once more, and you just see the increasing effect as Joyce takes the big right hand from Hergovic. But you see the increasing effect that Joyce's punches, the jab in particular, is having. Hergovic pinned to the ropes once more. Was he playing possum as he covered up? He came back with a three-punch salvo of his own, and now Joyce beginning to demonstrate variety. Uppercut to the, uppercut to the stone of legs, and left hook to the head. Joyce is in the ascendancy. Yeah, lovely boxing there from Joyce. Just basic boxing. Straight shots. The accuracy is very, very important. Can't afford to get to be sloppy. What a performance this up to now from Joe Joyce. Just got to keep it going. And again, lovely stuff, Joyce. Right hand just stopped Hergovic in his tracks. He's pinning him to the ropes and working away. Referee allowing Joyce to do so. Joyce coming forward, working behind that left jab that has been such an effective weapon all contest long. Hergovic increasingly looking for his Sunday punch. The big right cross that could perhaps put Joyce on the floor. Look at how that jab rocks the head backwards of Philip Hergovic. He's looking increasingly ragged as we hear the 10 second clapper. Yeah, sickening shot there. And again from Joyce, just a sickening jab in your face. Hergovic, I tell you what, he's had enough. He looks like he's there for the taking. 
brilliant round once more from Joe Joyce. And he has a springy step as he goes back. Hergovic has only just made it back to the blue corner on the far side of the ring. Yeah, fantastic stuff from Joyce. Clearly won the round. Yeah, there you go. All three judges go for Joyce there. He's just got to keep it going now. Keep that fitness. And just watch out for the odd swinging shot from, from Hergovic. But in this round, Joyce on the front foot. Single shots with the jab. Very accurate. Snappy shots. Getting closer and closer. Then there's the right hand. Pushing his man back. Keeps him on the road. Switches the attack. Body and head. Lovely shot there. Right up went to the body, left up. And Hergovic looked like there. He was ready to go. The signs are bad for Hergovic. Great performance up to now from Joe Joyce. He's looking rather dispirited in his corner because here is a tall, athletic, accomplished boxer who is facing a veritable whirlwind in Joe Joyce. That left jab has been incessant all night long and he's used it as a tenderizer through the four completed rounds so far. Into the fifth and final round we go. Joe Joyce of Great Britain wearing the red trunks trimmed with white against the 2010 World Youth Champion. The, 2000, the 2012 World Series Boxing Champion from season two, the individual champion, Philippe Hergovic. He's really being put under pressure here tonight. Oh. A big right hand from Joyce, followed up with a jab. More right hand success. Both men swinging for the fences here in round number five. But it's Joyce who is having the better of the exchanges. Yep, super stuff from Joyce. Just got to watch it these first, the first minutes of the round. Hergovic will be dangerous. He'll look to throw out the odd single shot. There's another one. Look over the top. He gets desperate, but he's very, very tired. So Joyce has got to stay nice and tight with the guard. Keep the punches straight. Keep the pressure on and take him into that zone again where he's looking for a way out. Right hand speculative one thrown by Hergovic once more. Joyce was effective in blocking it with his gloves. But Joyce, he really does have the engine. Oh, look at there. Star Bunny just did you, keeps on coming. Did you see that little, little faint from Joyce there? That's good. That is. He's trying, what he's trying to do there. He's fainting, trying to draw the lead of his opponent, and then he'll come with the counter. Lovely boxing, Joyce. Trying things. He's experimenting. That's what he's learned from the GB squad. The GB squad and World Series boxing, where his punch repertoire and his poise and composure in the ring as he scores again with another hurtful left jab. Pinning Hergovic to the ropes once more. Takes a big right hand of his own. Hergovic looking to find a punch that will put his man on the floor because perhaps that's all he has left now. Such has been the dominance of Joyce in rounds one, three and four. He will not be denied, Joe Joyce, the way he's coming forward. He's just got to be a little bit more tighter and clever with clever with the guard keep the guard up keep the punches straight don't make any mistakes look don't switch off keep the tempo high joe joyce a fine arts graduate away from boxing oh big right hand from hergovic but in his spare time those hands that he uses to create artistic masterpieces using oil on canvas tonight he's producing his artistry up in the boxing ring hergovic looking to fight back his way into the contest. Winging right hand now, desperate, but he got through with that one. A big right hand and another one. Yeah. Two strong right crosses in succession for Philip Hergovic. This is where he's just got to keep it tight now. Don't switch off, don't make mistakes. Keep those hands up. If you're coming forward, keep the hands up. Get the guard back when you throw the shot. Inside the final 30 seconds of this pulsating heavyweight contest, Right hand success once more. Joyce retaliates immediately with a left right of his own. Terrific action here in the final bout of the evening. Here in World Series Boxing. The final bell sounds. A nod of respect and acknowledgement from Croatia's Filip Hergovic, a Kazakhstan oh, representative. Gabor Sukor. The gold boot winner from France 1998. The Real Madrid superstar, the man who spent some time at Arsenal. He's in attendance here tonight. He's a big fan of Hergovic. And I suspect, given his record today, he didn't expect him to see him put to the sword like that. Well, if the judges score it right, he'll be very disappointed. The footballer, because he's been well beaten here, Hergovic for me. I think you cannot score against Joe Joyce here. This has been the best performance of his career, he's learned so much, and there the tempo was absolutely fantastic for George. You pointed it out early doors, Richie, and Dabo Suko, authentic Croatian football jerseys are thrown into the crowd here at the York Hall in Bethnal Green. Two fans 
will be delighted with the memorabilia they've picked up. But Joe Joyce, his poise, his calmness in the ring, as this tournament has progressed, has been really impressive. Yeah, the confidence and the engine that he's shown um, Joe Joyce, superb, and he's boxing, just basic boxing, on the front foot there, with those jabs, the straight right hands, switches the body to the body also. I think he, it's been a great all-round display from Joe Joyce tonight against a quality opponent. The reigning individual champion from World Series Boxing Season 2. Here's the official verdict. Ladies and gentlemen, this heavyweight contest at 91 kilos plus is a split decision. What? what? Jojan Rus scores the contest 49 46 for Hrigovic. <laughs> Judge Mario Scorni scores the contest 49 46 for Joyce. And Judge Jean Robert Lane scores the contest 48 47 for your winner by way of split decision representing British Lionheart. Joe Joyce! The final score, British Lion Hearts 4. Astana Alas, Kazakhstan 1. Joe three Joyce performs his customary backflip in celebration of victory. And what a momentous victory over the world youth champion from 2011, from the individual World Series boxing champion in season two, Philip Hergovic consigned to his first defeat of the season. Joe Joyce, the number two ranked heavyweight, beats the number one ranked heavyweight courtesy of a split decision. Joyce moves to four bouts undefeated here in World Series Boxing season three. The most significant victory of this young man's boxing career to date. The winner is now speaking with Michael Pearce. Joe, you certainly showed what metal you've got tonight. Early on in the first round, I heard several people at ringside saying he's going to get next. He's going to get knocked out. You proved them totally and utterly wrong. It was a magnificent performance. Tell us about it, please. Well, first of all, thank you very much. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, this is the more, most difficult bit. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Two. Two. A little te technical hitch. Um, oh, it's gone. Uh, yeah, thanks, thanks everyone for coming and watching. Um, thanks for all your support. Supporting the WSB and the British Lionhearts. And take it easy getting back home. Spoken well. He's put the icing on the cake. Joe Joyce, ladies and gentlemen. And let's hear it for your host, DJ Spoon. He has worked incredibly hard. Well, what an amazing much. night oh, we have so had nice here at the York Hall in Bethnal Green. The British Lionheart beat the Kazakhstan Astana Arlands by a score of 4-1 here in week eight, courtesy of this victory in the heavyweight division. Yeah, this was the performance of the night because it was the, the opposition he was up against. A quality, world-class heavyweight in Her Philip Her Herkovic. And Joe Joyce has blown him away, literally. I mean, the work rate he couldn't cope with. At times, I thought Hergovic in the fourth round was, was ready for the taking. He found a second wind in the last round, but Joyce, so persistent, sustained pressure, just kept going. And finding the target with those straight left, straight right, super work, switching from, from body to head. It was an excellent all-round performance from Joyce, and he would not be denied. Even in the last round when he was caught with the odd shot here and there, his fitness got him through it. And I just thought the way he came on strong towards the end also, he thoroughly deserved this victory. I was amazed that it was a split decision. There was only one winner, it was Joe Joyce. And that, as I said before, is the performance of his career. Keeping his opponent on the ropes there, body and head, just winging away with those shots, right up a good to the body there. Hergovic really had had enough. Great boxing display from Joe Joyce. He's learned so much over the last few months with Team GB and he's growing in confidence in every contest he has. You can see it, the way he's boxing, and here against a top-class amateur, uh, sorry, professional boxer in Hergovic there, he did the business. Fair play, Joe Joyce. Arms raised in victory, Joe Joyce extends his unbeaten run here in World Series Boxing.